Well, hello, my Stanley Community College students, my soon-to-be new friends. I just wanted to take a minute to introduce myself, and especially since I get to watch your video to introduce yourself. I am Norma Honeycutt, and I am actually the executive director of a nonprofit organization in Salisbury, North Carolina. We operate two child care centers, and I have been working in child care centers pretty much all of my life. Actually, we won't say how long my life's been, but <clears throat> I'll say 45 years. And so I started out at the community college. When I was 32 years old, the state of North Carolina said, if you want to work in child care, you have to go get your credential. Well, I'd been working in child care since I was 15 years old and had built a built up a child care center with a friend of mine as well as um, was operating, I don't know, around 50 children at that time. And uh, I was 32 years old and had three children of my own. And I really knew it all, I thought. Anyway, so I was scared because I was not that great of a student in high school. I was in the top of my bottom half of class. And it had been about mm, 15 years since I'd been to high school. So I decided, okay, I've got to go because this is my dream. I love working with young children. So I went to the community college and I was scared to death to walk on campus. But for my very first class, I had this teacher and her name was Helen Watkins. It was Rowan Barris Community College. And she was so kind, and she was so nice, and she gave me such good feedback. And her main feedback was, you are smart, you are kind, you are loving, and you can do this. And that made me know I could do it. So, long story short, and fast forward a lot of years till I was 45, and I'll tell you, right now, I'm 59, not 60. 59, getting close to me. And um, so let's fast forward to 45. Five children later, I got my master's degree from UNC Greensboro. I got my bachelor's from UNC Charlotte. Now, after I got my associate degree with honors, I was scared to death. But I went on and I got my bachelor's with honors. And I got my master's with honors that slow learner throughout elementary school who graduated in the bottom half of her class, a mother of five, working full-time, married to a man that worked in the mill full-time, has a master's degree. What I am saying is, if I can do it, you can do it. So, one of my favorite things to do is to help others help others through this journey of education. I am a firm believer in you, the only way out of poverty, out of having to have somebody else to take care of you financially, is through education. That's the only way. So keep going. You'll hear that a lot from me. You'll hear the you can do it. Let's work on one thing at a time and let's get this going. So, since I get to see where you work, I thought I'd give you a tour of my office. It's not much, trust me. But it is my office, and I love that. Just like your space is your space. So, can't figure out how to turn my camera around. That's okay. I'll just turn um, this around. So, basically, guys, this is my office. This is where I sit every day, and I work. And I absolutely love looking out the window at the birds. And, yes, I did make these. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I did get a little bit of help. I went and took a glass uh, blowing class. I love adventures, and I love to try new things. Another one of my loves is coaching. So, this is my latest book that I'm going to be reading and working on. So you may get some new strategies from me. So that's my desk. And then this is just part of my office. I will tell you my other love is children's books. 
Actually, my family would tell you that it's an addiction. Because almost every one of these are full of children's books. I love children's books. Some of my favorite. Uh, I just always will have that early childhood background in me. As a matter of fact, they were throwing away some books at school. And these were two of my favorite books back when I was a preschool teacher. And there they are. I had to keep them. So all of this, and I do have eight grandchildren now, so I'm able to use some of this with my grandchildren. At least that's what I can blame it on. <laughs> so actually, these are my grandchildren, some of them. I have another one now, but that's a few of my grandchildren. And then this is my sitting chair. So when I get tired of sitting at my desk, I go and sit in my sitting chair. And I sit there, and I look at, um, actually, I read my daily devotional, and I prop my feet up, and I, that's my sitting chair where I like to sit. This reminds me of a little guy, I hope you can see it, that once um, I went into his home, I do in-home therapy for children with special needs, and when I was finished, when he turned three, he gave me that. It says, you are my favorite hello and my hardest goodbye. And I would agree. So this is my husband's toy box from when he was little. And as you can see, toys is my favorite thing. It has some toys in it for my grandchildren. And then these are some of my favorite book characters. I love books. Good night, Moon. If you give a mouse a cookie and you all recognize Arthur. So that's my door that goes out to the hall. And then this is the other side of my office. My office is not very big, as you can see. So on my walls are posters because where I work is building a new site. And so this is actually the designs for my new site. That's what you're seeing. And of course, what can I say? More books. I do so love some books. See, here's a place where when my husband comes in to talk to me, he'll sit. And then I have a box where I write good, encouraging cards to people. It's up under there. So, <laughs> that's me, and that's my office. Oh, this is another one of my favorite quotes. Are, um, actually, it's a Bible verse. Whoops, I dropped my drink. It's a Bible verse, and it goes... She is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. Proverbs 31, 25. And this word, inspire, I do a word of the year, and that was my word last year. This year's word is overcomer. So, I've got some struggles that I need to overcome. One being um, working on a healthier lifestyle. That's my biggest one. Uh, we all have struggles to overcome. So, that's about me, and I hope to inspire you and help you be an overcomer in um, going to school and making an A in this class and rocking it. So, I hope you enjoyed my little video, and I look forward to working with you, and please let me know if you need anything at all, and um, have a wonderful semester. Norma Honeycutt. Thanks.